guys, I have some rather exciting news. Um, I have a bit of a, a change coming. For me, it's a change. Um, I've decided to donate my hair. And for me, this is kind of a big deal because I've had long hair, you know, past my shoulders, long hair, since I was 10. So that's a long time. Like, I don't know if you can see this. Oops. <laughs> It's long. It's long hair. Um, I always wanted long hair as a kid. I remember my um, one of my first memories about my hair. Well, lots of memories about my hair. Strangers stroking my hair, being like, "Oh wow, that color! Wow, her hair, her hair!" And it was very uncomfortable for me because I didn't know these people. Um, but one of my next memories about my hair was when um, my hair was like chin length when I was like five, six. And my, my mom said, like, we were talking about growing out my hair and how I, I wanted long hair so that I could do it in braids and be like a pioneer girl. And um, my mom said, well, why don't you let your hair grow out then? Start growing your hair out. And I went, okay, I'll start growing my hair out. It's growing. <laughs> so um, that was one of my earliest memories. And ever since that moment, basically, I've been growing out my hair. And I mean, it's not crazy long. It's not like down to my butt or anything, but it is pretty long. So, um, I was, it was funny. I was going to book a hair appointment because I really need some layers. It's just, it's just too long right now. Like it's, it's dragging down on the top. So, um, uh, my mom mentioned something like you could get nine inches off and you wouldn't even be able to tell. And I was like, Taha, that's funny. But then I was like, oh, I should book my appointment. I should, I should get some layers or something. Um, that didn't work out. Wasn't able to get a hold of the hairdresser. Uh, my friend was talking about how she donated her hair just totally out of the blue. I, she didn't know that I was trying to book a hair appointment. And then the next morning I woke up and was like, what if I donate my, donated my hair? And I think it was God kind of being like, I want you to donate your hair. Are you willing to give up your hair for me? And I was like, mm. No, I don't want to. I don't want to, God. Like, yeah, some layers, but I don't want to, like, cut it all off. And then I felt like he was like, well, think about it. Because, like, if you directly disobey me, it's not like we're going to have a great relationship where we're, you know, talking all the time and, like, really connecting. And I was like, oh, I don't want to be, I don't want, I don't want that to happen. So I was like, I'll think about it. I didn't say yes right away. I said, I'll think about it, which, you know, I'm working on that. But so I thought about it for, like, all morning. This was like two days ago, and I was like, okay, God, I think I'll do it. I'll look into it. So I found this company that my friend donated her hair through, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll contact them, make sure that if I donate my hair, it is going to people with cancer or other medical problems. They got back, sure enough, all the hair is free of charge to people with um, cancer. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll do it because my hair is so long. I mean, like, it'll still be like probably that long, like when I get it cut, that's still plenty long. And it, it's time for a change. It's time to, to not hold on so hard to things that, you know, like I'm gonna get old, my hair's gonna go gray, it's gonna thin probably, it's gonna have to get short. So it's like, you know, life's too short to be clinging on to things that we don't need to cling on to. And, and if my hair can, maybe there's a redheaded child out there who has cancer and maybe they have a hard time finding red wigs so here like I don't need all this so um yeah my appointments tomorrow I will show you the after um when I get it cut here I'll give you like a good shot of my hair so that's how long it is right now so I'm gonna like reduce my amount of hair by like 50 percent probably so it's um it's definitely gonna make like washing it and brushing it a whole lot easier so yeah next time you see me I will be looking a little bit different <laughs>
see it all I knew that you were mine I'm in love with your hair, your lips Your silhouette in the moonlight shine we'll do you like my new hair? Uh, this is curled, so my hair uh, isn't naturally this curly, but I'm sure it'll have more of a wave, more of a bounce to it. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, I'll show you. So basically, yeah, like 50% of my hair got cut off today. So I noticed like when I'm shoulder checking, when I'm driving, it moves. Oops, sorry about that. It moves so much. I'm like, like, it's just like flying around my face. It's incredible. So it feels so light. I feel like I don't have any hair at all. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to Hawaii soon. So I'm really excited to have this light cut for Hawaii. Um, yeah, I'm thrilled with it. I feel like this change has been a long time coming. It's finally here. I'm like, I mean, I just decided to do this like three days ago, but like ever since then, I've been like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to get a cut. I can't wait to get a cut. Can't wait to get all this like weight cut off of me. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how I do my hair now. Like instead of doing all these crazy braids and updos and things, I'm going to be doing different things with my hair now. So um, yeah, I am donating this. It's about 11 inches in the end. Um, look at the look at the nubbins. Like does not look so weird. It looks so funny. Um, but yeah, I'll be donating this uh, to. Eva and Co wigs, Eva and Company wigs. So all uh, their wigs get donated free of charge to kids with cancer through uh, BC Children's Hospital. So I think it's yeah, great a great cause. And um, yeah, the girl who cut my hair today, her name is Allie, and she is from Chantel Funk and Company. So uh, yeah, I had a great experience. They gave me a nice like head massage while she was washing it. It was so nice. Um, and yeah, she did a really good job. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna go out with some friends tonight and they will have not, they will not know that I got my hair cut. So let's see uh, what they think of it. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this. If you're thinking about donating your hair, I say go for it. So yeah, um, I hope you're all doing well. Take care. <laughs>